Okay, for our example for incomplete dominance, when a pure red flowered four o'clock plant is crosses with a pure white flowered four o'clock plants, the offspring will be all color pink, meaning a combination. Activity 1. Here are the given phenotypes and genotypes of incomplete dominance. Using the above set of alleles, show the possible outcome of each cross. And now, we are going to answer number 1. Two pink flowered 4 o'clock flowers. Now, all you have to do is to identify the parent alleles, genotype and phenotypic ratio, and of course, you have to show your solution using the Punnett square. Now, at this point, I will going to show how to do it. Okay, so we are going to um, perform the activity one. So, I will give you the example. So, since the given is, um, we have the phenotype and the genotype of incomplete dominance. So, I will be showing you on the screen the given. So, first given is two pink flowered four o'clock flowers. And you are going to identify first the parent alleles, letter B, genotype and ratio, phenotype and ratio, and the band square. So, let's have the solution. Okay. So, since number one is two pink flowered, and the genotype of the pink flowered is capital letter R and capital letter W. So this is two. So each parent has this combination of alleles. So let's assume that this is the mother and this is the father. Okay? Or one flower cross with another pink flower. This is our genotype. Now, let's proceed. We are going to draw a Punnett square. Okay. Now, we are going to start with the first combination of alleles. We are going to move this here at the top portion of your square. So the first allele and the next one. Okay? Then the next parent allele we are going to write here on the left side and W. Now, this is the picture of our Punnett square. So to cross, we have here R and R. Okay, the genotype and the allele of RR. Okay, so it should be in capital letters. Now, for this one, we have W and R. Now, take note, the arrangement should be the same arrangement with the given genotype. So, we are going to start with R and W. And then this one this and this so we have our w then this and this one so we have w w now we are done with the Punnett square so this is the result of our Punnett square if there are two pink flower or flowers okay or four o'clock flowers now let's identify now letter a Parent alleles. Our parent alleles, so we have this already given. So we have two pink flower. Okay. Now, letter B, we are going to write the genotype and ratio. Now, this inside the box, these letters inside the box are the genotype. So, we are going to have the ratio. So, let's start with the first box. Copy. And how many combination of this allele? So, only one. So, is ratio is to one. Next box is 
the combination of R and W. But take note, inside the four boxes, there are two combination of these uh, alleles. So, we are going to write the genotype RW and the ratio is 2. Then, the last box, WW and the ratio is 1. Okay? Now, for letter C, is we are going to identify the phenotype and ratio. Okay? Now, for the phenotype and ratio, phenotype is the physical characteristics of our genotype. Let's start with the genotype first. This one is red flowers or red flowered four o'clock plants or you can use the word red na lang. Okay, red. That is how many? So we have red is to one based on the pan square. Now, this genotype naman RW, the phenotype of this RW is color pink. And how many? That is, okay, two. And so, next is, we have WW, and the phenotype of WW is white. So, white is two, one. So, here's our final answer. Letter A, the parent alleles, we have RW cross with RW. For the phenotype and ratio, we have answers red is to 1, pink is to 2, and white color is to 1. And for our genotype and ratio, we have RR is to 1, RW is to 2, and WW is to 1. And that's all for today. And now, it's now your turn to answer problems number two and number three. Enjoy learning!